All right, we're here with Loveland Varsity head coach, Coach Cranford. Tonight it looked like we looked at two different Loveland Tiger teams between the first and second half. Uh, what were some of the changes made in the second half that made the Tigers so much more successful? Well, I think they we jumped out slow. you got to give credit to Glen Esty in the fact that they came out ready to play. Their toughness, their toughness and tenacity, that's what they bring to the table every year. and We knew that. They were well prepared. They grabbed some momentum in the first half. We offensively had to go in. We settled down. We made adjustments against uh, their kick down look. And I think once, that we, once they were clear on, on what we were seeing, we came out with a little bit more charge in the second half. Defensively, man, is where the props have got to go to. For four weeks now, you know, what, shut out in the second half, that, that allowed us offensively to, to do what we did. So you've got you to give Coach Wanstroth and a defensive group for four straight weeks to come out here. And our backs were pinned up against the wall, and I haven't really seen our kids emotionally that distraught. But we went in there, we settled them down. You know, I, I, I think they really felt like there was a, a, a bigger deficit than what it was. But, well, you know, once we, contained the, uh, uh, once we contained the emotions and came out, you know, good things happened. So I'm proud of the kids and the way they played. And coach, on defense, um, the Glen Esty passing game is where the Tigers were being hit hard in the first half. That slowed down in the second half. Uh, Tiger defense all but obliterated the yeah. Glen Esty passing game. Uh, what were some of the things that we were seeing on the field to make that happen, the changes that were going on throughout the game? I don't, I don't, it wasn't really a necessary change. We, did, we, we continued to, to, to go after them. We put the same pressure on, on uh, the Q as we did in the first half. They were just fortunate. They, they made some great plays in the first half. So you got to give them credit, you know, and they were able to put some points on the board. That's... Um, Wing T, two wing T teams. You're going to try to control the clock. You saw that tonight, and obviously it's going. We're going. Everyone's going to load boxes on everyone and say beat us with the pass. You know, we're blessed to have you know a, a good group up front and some nice backs to be able to move the ball. But we too, though, have to get more two dimensional. We've got to put the ball in the air more. We know that, but um, we're going to take one game at a time. You know, so we're lucky to get out of here. You know, it's, that was a great win for our program. Just I think for what this team and the adversity they had faced early in the first half. And coach, a very tough game next week, next Friday at home against Kings. What should Tiger fans expect? Uh, uh, Kings. You know, I, I don't think there's much more to be said. I think our, our fans, uh, they're, they're going to they're show up. And they're going to be eager to see a great football game. It's just a rivalry for our kids and, and community. So new to this rivalry, but I'm sure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in with my feet running. And, you know, we're going to get after it. So. Coach, congratulations. Thanks for talking to us at Loveland Magazine TV. I'm Ricky Mulvey reporting at Glen Estee High School for Loveland Magazine Television.